Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this new episode of an LP, um, the last of my series, I know I've been shooting these things out, uh, few and far between, especially that they're all in part one, but this is the last one and I'll pick up on the uh, next MS Saga soon, the next, uh, Dot Hack with Cat soon, and I'll restart doing Persona 3 very soon. Unfortunately, Pokemon Battles are gonna have to wait a little bit while, uh, wait, wait a little bit, because my GPU has not come in yet with my new PC. Um, if anyone doesn't know or hasn't watched to the end of my LP parts, they sent my new desktop computer. The GPU was in there, did not work, so I had to send it back, and now I'm waiting for it to the new part to be shipped back to me, which shipped out yesterday. But unfortunately, because of the holiday season right now, it's going to take until next Monday to get here, which is bullshit in my opinion. But I have to accept it, or else I have to pay the $500 for the new graphics card, which will suck even more. So let's start a new game here in private investigator mode. Anyone that's not familiar with Dark uh, Dark Corners of the Earth, Call of Cthulhu, it's an uh, amazing first-person shooter sort of detective style game um, where you play a guy looking into a missing person's case, I believe. Unfortunately, it's been a while since I played this game, but I love this game and it holds a special place in my heart because I love the Lovecraftian lore so much. Anyone that loves it will enjoy this game, especially if you haven't played this, but I assume if you love Lovecraft. And of what I've always been, all that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Unfortunately, this game does freeze a lot, so let's pray to God that it doesn't just freeze in the middle of something important and I have to restart the game or say, well, that's all, folks, you know, because uh, first time I tried to do this playthrough, stopped right there, froze for an eternity, couldn't even get it to go. So that was sort of a flash forward, I believe, to what is going to be the end result of this mission, this case that he's investigating. As you can see, it's not pretty, not pretty at all. Um... Is it a flashback? Is it a flash forward? I... It's something, I'll tell you that. So we have game tips activated, blah blah blah. Six and a half years ago. Neat. And I love this game's style. It's, But it's like, not really the style per se, it's like the atmosphere it builds up is pretty fucking amazing. I mean, come on, doesn't it feel like you're just a detective in the 1920s, I believe? 1915, so yeah, early early 1900s. Driving the mobile fashion automobiles. Wow, it's, it's really rainy here. Robert, this had better be good. What's the, the beef? beef. Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any. Victor? He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here Cults. a few months back. Got about 20 followers. Jeez. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. 
got the local scare. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about You're gunshots. being watched, Who guy. Who out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy... Yeah, guy. see? So yeah. And now we have control of our character. As we look around everywhere we're going, look at this car, look at those lights, look at that guy, look at his gun, look at this police. Just immerse yourself in this whole world. Wow, look at that moon. It's always full moons. Hey, buddy. How you doing, kid? Good, sir. Is it true what they say about you? Depends <laughs> on what they're saying. That you've cracked cases. Wait. There was no evidence. You oh, I've cracked cases. Here. A long time ago. Right. Yeah, so, uh, apparently he's heard things. Jack. Okay. Officer Nichols will bring you. Alright, I'll be careful. Be careful. What's yeah, taking yeah. him so long? Something must be wrong. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. Mm hmm. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. <laughs> Check the alley on the right. Victor holds so over, over there? there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? No. Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. We want Walter. Okay, so this guy over here, he's, uh... Oh, God. Oh, duh. Oh, God. Okay, can I run? Shit, 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 shit. Right. Jesus, please. I'm more afraid about getting shot than monsters right now. Okay, let's explore around. God, look at the rats. Eek! That's a crouch. That's a jump. Let's see what we got in here. Hmm. As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how wow, insignificant we... mankind is in the universe. A doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. Yeah, well that was pretty freaking weird. Ugh. Okay, um, so what do we got here? We got a diagram of some sort? The board has been used to illustrate mm -hmm. a diagram. And we got this, uh, goddamn monster thing. Okay, click on it. A powerful painting yeah, of you say that cosmic now. horror. This blasphemous hmm. image makes me feel uneasy. Look at this one. It looks like an eye. Jeez, the rest Louise, of the look at all these things. No real shape. I cannot wait to see all these things. That's an unusual design. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And then you, yeah. So we're going to be moving on now. We're going to be in this hallway. That's simple, strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. Alright, uh. This is our save point. As, uh, he is. God damn. Jeez, please. Clock. That thing needs to shut up. Um. I think we can save right here. Just to let you guys know, we're gonna be able to save. Um, so far so good. Just don't want to get shot in the face by death bullets. Causing some death. Oh god, these paintings are really awesome. Look at this. Look at this. Just look at all this stuff. This game's amazing. Just shooting. Amazing. Um. Oh god. Thank you. 
Yeah. 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 Scary stuff. Jeez, Louise. God, those bullets. I'm gonna get shot. I feel like I'm about to get like cut around these corners and get shot. Poison. Yep. The looks of it. He's dead. They're all dead. Wow. So. Yeah, I don't know why they would. They could just get shot. Why would they kill themselves? I, just, I don't know. What is this? What a nut house. Hmm. The walls have been covered with glyphs. Neat. What's going on in here, about This guy. This is too scary so far. Just gunshots and gunshots and gunshots and gunshots. Hello? Don't shoot. Yep. Ah, we you have? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. That guy had a weird voice. Let's pick up this key, this key. and let's head downstairs. Thanks, inventory. Um, I believe what we need to go now is go down here and. I believe this is the room we need to go into? Yes, yes we are right. Good thinking. Nexus, good thinking. You know exactly where rooms are that have locked doors. What is this? Um, pictures. Photogra schedule. My my god. My god, my schedule. Or Jack Walter's schedule, I guess. This is a little bit weird and creepy, but that's fine. I have fans, fans that care about me. I don't understand. In very and peculiar, in photos, different ways. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Shit. Why would they want me here? It must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've got to think. All right. So we get to grab this key. Another key. Oh, another key. No way. I think I know exactly where it goes. Let's, uh, actually... In, like, all horror game fashion, I'm pretty sure that when we don't find a correct door, we're gonna open these doors. It won't fudge. Okay. It won't <sighs> fudge. I didn't realize I was playing Silent Hill, so... It's been boarded up. So all these rooms were checked out already. Which leaves us with this room. It's unlocked. Do you? Do you hear that? What the hell? Ugh. It appears to be a private study area. Hmm. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. Classical Greek. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. Sweet beans. I don't know what that's good for. Can I pick up that? For nutcases, they seem quite uh. literate. Make sure I get everything I need. Let's see, how do I put my menu? Neat. Oh yeah, this is our stat screen. As you can tell, we have nothing on the screen to indicate any damage, um, any ammo, ammunition. Later on, when we get guns and sorts of things. There are definitely some strange oh, sounds shit. coming from this side of the room. Okay. Hmm. That looks interesting. Ugh. Shit. That did not say shit. Yeah, that's my thoughts exactly. Shit. That's. Well, that's just. Yeah. Swell. 
Yeah, that's it. Dear God. It's down here. Okay, this is actually getting kind of intense. He's dead. Jeez Louise, my controller's like going insane skull. right now. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Medical charts okay. in the human anatomy. Jeez, you're a fucking private detective. Calm the sh fuck down, man. The sink would be seriously. Used for he's a out. professional. You think? You think he was seen dead? Look, listen. You hear his voice. It sounds calm, but he's panicking like it's nobody's business right now. Dead bodies. We haven't even gotten to like insanity-inducing crap Something yet. Dreadful has been going on down here. Just stare at this wall for a second. Look at this. Calm down. Calm down. In all my time on the job, I've never seen anything like this before. From the markings, he must have been one of their own. Oh, yeah, another thing you need. I wonder if he volunteered. Thing you need to know about this game is that you cannot. Stare at dead bodies. You cannot stare at anything for too long, or else you just go flipping insane. And weird shit will start happening, kind of like in uh, the other game on the GameCube. I can't remember what it's called, but just weird shit starts to happen. Um, sort of like that. Like bugs will start crawling across the screen. Um, it's all sorts of weird crap. Um, this place looks interesting. Whoa. Um, you okay, buddy? Good God! What the hell is all this? Yeah. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Kalima! 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 Can't tell which one's a heart. This looks like a liver. Oh, we got a brain over here. Wait, are these all his parts? Shit, the shit sticks. Um. Shit. Um. Sorry? I'm dreadfully sorry, sir. I didn't realize that this was your crazy ass life support system. The crystal's still warm. Did I just infuse it with his lifeblood? Oh, I think I killed him. Seems like a nice chap, too. Oh, God. What the fuck? This is just fucking crazy as shit, man. Look at this thing. I don't even know what it does. It looks impressive. I guess it does something really cool. Alright, so, yeah. This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse uh, at any moment. Shit. Shit. Ooh. 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 Look at all that. Oh, that's fancy. Do I need to, uh, open that? Can I take that now? Ah, oh, it's too hot to pick up. too hot to okay. pick up. Yeah, okay. Oh, I believe I need to. I need to place a crystal somewhere. It looks like something's been removed from it. Hmm. There we go. Alright, I figured out how to work the inventory. Sweet beans. Um, now I believe it's probably a good idea to turn this thing on. Because, uh, this looks like something I would know something about. So let's hit this button and let magic happen. You open the Stargate! You open the Stargate! Yo. What's up? Hmm. 
Hmm. Now that's what you call a prologue. Was that precog? I don't know. Let's do. Let's do this mysterious phone call business. Was it all a dream? Was it just in his inner psyche? Did that case even happen? Or was it just another day in the Twilight Zone? So sometime later, it's been more than here. six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating hmm. the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the hmm. police report, they had searched the house for hours. Only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues hmm. recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented okay, so it was a flashback. myself or others, All that. I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been hmm. plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember Answer the damn that phone. day, more than six years past, that I've told no one Good doodles, man. Good doodles. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. Probably. I don't take that kind of job. D did you get my package? <laughs> get my package. Um, hold on. No. Wow, that's a lot of one dollar bills. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, a person? Um, it's one of my store a managers. person? Brian's his name. Brian Burns. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I Innsmouth. never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. Yes. I didn't agree to take this. What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Do it. We'll do this. Or else we ain't got no game. We gotta play the game to be a game. To beat the game. To win the game. To call the game. Got a client. Sweet. Neat. Let's do this. Let's get into scary stuff. Now we're getting into the cool spooky stuff. Now there's gonna be guys chasing us and fishmen, giant porcupine monsters. That's probably not the last thing, but you know, Call of Cthulhu y things. Uh, lasers, revolvers, slow reloading times. You know, the, the works. It's 19. It's 1900s. There ain't no Halo 3, okay? We're gonna be doing things the old-fashioned way. We're gonna get down and dirty like like a grandpa used to, cause uh, he fought monsters, stuff too probably. I I can assume. 
I mean, I'm no, I'm no Lovecraftian scientist. Lovecraftiest? I don't know. But, um, uh, I digress. We're gonna be doing some stuff here soon. And as soon as we get to a point where I can be like, yo, this game is good, we'll be doing it. So actually, you know what? Next time, we'll pick up right here. Look at this. Driver. And, uh, remember to Almost like, comment, subscribe. I'll drop you at the town square eventually. Wine lock and well, I saw wanderers looking, looking for work. You know what those folks like that interfering with our uh, affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to it, but... But what about Trey? Surely the port needs business. Is without the means to look after her own. Interesting. And behold the world in which this game takes place. This lovely town of Innsmouth. Okay, that's... that's odd. It's like the statue from Springfield. It's, it's always reminding me of from the end Simpsons. The like when the bar takes the head. So... Let's... Get off the bus, call it a day, and uh, not look at this guy in the eyes because I'm pretty sure he's freaky. Everyone sounds fucking freaky. Freaky deaky lemon squeezy. Alright! Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, sir. Oh, you look dashing. You're a damper, handsome young uh, gentleman. Yeah. Yeah, um. Yeah, um, so we're here at the hotel, Five Star Hotel. So we'll be calling it quits here for now, and I'll catch you on the next part where we enter the said hotel. And we get to go on a horrible, scary adventure. And there's going to be strobe lights, and booze, and jump scares, and necromorphs, and uh, pyramid heads. Yeah, why not? So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next part of Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth, where we explore more Dark Corners of the Earth. So yeah. Peace, guys.